Here are 10 of the most notable ones. 1. The launch of Diablo Immortal as a mobile game. When Blizzard announced Diablo Immortal as a mobile game in 2018, fans were outraged, expecting news about a mainline Diablo sequel. The phrase don't you guys have phones? became a meme, symbolizing the disconnect between developers and their core fanbase. It highlighted frustrations with the shift towards mobile gaming and microtransactions. 2. Loot boxes in Star Wars Battlefront 2. In 2017, Star Wars Battlefront 2 was heavily criticized for its use of loot boxes, which many saw as a pay to win system. The backlash from players and even governments sparked debates about gambling and gaming. EA eventually revised the game's progression system, and the controversy led to widespread scrutiny of loot boxes in the gaming industry. 3. No Man's Sky and its misleading launch. When No Man's Sky launched in 2016, it lacked many promised features, such as multiplayer and complex ecosystems. This led to widespread disappointment and criticism. However, over time, the developers worked hard to rebuild the game through updates, restoring trust with the community. The game is now seen as a redemption story in the industry. 4. Mass Effect 3 Inches Ending The ending of Mass Effect 3 was widely condemned for its lack of differentiation based on player choices, which had been a hallmark of the series. Fans felt betrayed by the seemingly arbitrary conclusion. BioWare eventually released an extended cut to address the complaints, but the controversy raised important discussions about player agency in narrative-driven games. 5. The introduction of always online DRM in SimCity 2013. SimCity's 2013 reboot required players to always be online, even for single player content. Server issues at launch made the game unplayable for many, leading to a massive backlash. This event contributed to the decline of the game's reputation, and it remains a cautionary tale for developers implementing always online systems. 6. The introduction of Horse Armor DLC in The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion In 2006, Bethesda released a simple horse armor as paid DLC for Oblivion, which was seen as overpriced and unnecessary. This was one of the first examples of microtransactions in single-player games, sparking debates about the monetization of cosmetic items. Today, DLCs and microtransactions are common, but the horse armor remains an infamous moment. 7. The Warcraft 3 Reforged Debacle Warcraft 3 Reforged was expected to be a glorious remaster of a classic, but its 2020 release was marred by missing features, downgraded visuals, and broken promises. Fans were outraged, and Blizzard offered refunds due to the outcry. The failure of the remaster damaged the company's reputation and trust with its community. 8. Nintendo's Legal Action Against Fan Projects Nintendo is known for shutting down fan-made projects, including Pokemon Uranium and AM2R. These games, developed by fans out of love for Nintendo's franchises, were taken offline through legal action, which led to debates about intellectual property and the rights of fan communities. Despite the backlash, Nintendo has continued its strict approach. 9. The Auction House in Diablo 3 When Diablo 3 launched with a real money auction house in 2012, players were outraged. The feature was seen as undermining the game's core experience by encouraging pay-to-win mechanics. Blizzard eventually removed the auction house, and Diablo II's reputation improved with time, but the decision remains a sore point in the franchise's history. 10. Sony's Crossplay Restrictions For years, Sony refused to allow cross-platform play on the PlayStation for games like Fortnite and Rocket League, while Microsoft and Nintendo supported it. This decision faced backlash from both players and developers, eventually leading Sony to reverse its stance in 2018. The controversy highlighted the importance of cross-platform play for modern gaming. These decisions, though controversial at the time, helped shape the future of gaming, influencing everything from monetization practices to player-developer relations. Some led to industry-wide changes, while others served as cautionary tales for future projects.